Hello there. God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always a great time in the presence of the Lord. Always an awesome privilege for me to give you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you're seeing me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that God is going to use this channel to continually minister to you, to tell you the mind of God and help you know God for yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless all our first timers. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel and you are not yet subscribed, please don't forget to touch that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live, you're going to receive a notification. God bless you as you do that. Hallelujah. And to all my returning subscribers, I love you so much. You're always my prayers. You are the reason why I... Um, Put myself in a place of prayer to hear prophetic messages to hear what god is saying about you god bless you for your consistency for your prayers i'm eternally grateful to you all hallelujah there is one sin that is likened to the sin of witchcraft no there is one sin that is likened to witchcraft one sin is likened to witchcraft and that is the sin of disobedience the seed of disobedience is likened to witchcraft. You might disobey and you think um, it's just a minor thing. You might disobey and think um, you have not done much. But that is the only sin that is likened to witchcraft. And God does not take disobedience um, easily. God doesn't... Um, with disobedience the reason why god took the, the 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 kingdom from saul and gave it to david was because of disobedience samuel speaking to saul he told him obedience is better than sacrifice what did saul do saul invaded the 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 the, the amaleks and there was a word that God gave. God promised to destroy the Amaleks. God promised to destroy them entirely. I mean, like nothing would be left of them. But Saul did not. Um, Saul did not. I mean, he killed everyone, but he took the spoils. He took. He took the the animals, and even he did not even wait for Samuel to come offer the burnt offerings to God. He went ahead and offered it. And when Samuel came, the prophet Samuel came, said, what have you done? He said, I wanted us to do this very fast. I was in a haste. He said, no, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have done that. Because of this, God has taken kingship away from you and has given it to, to um, um, David. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Whenever God tells you to do something, it doesn't matter how difficult. If you are certain it is the voice of the Lord you heard, you have to go ahead and do it. If you are certain that was God you heard, you have to go ahead and do it. Saul started going through so many things. God turned his back away from him. And the Philistines were climbing up on them. I mean, God was not longer with him. He could not hear God again. He had killed all the all the priests and all the prophets that could even hear God for him. And he could not even hear God himself. He could not even see God in a vision. Things became really difficult for him. And he went to the witch of Endor because he wanted to invoke the spirit of Samuel. And when Samuel came up and he noticed it was Saul, he said, why are you disturbing me? Let's read um. First Samuel chapter 28, let's read from verse 15. It says, Then Samuel said to Saul, why, why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? Saul answered, I am greatly distressed, for the Philistines are making war against me, and God has left me and no longer answers me, either through prophets or by dreams. Therefore, I have called you to come make known to me what I should do. Samuel said, why then do you ask me, since the Lord has left you and has become your enemy? The Lord has done to you just as he said through me when I was with you. For the Lord has torn the kingdom out of your hand and given it to your neighbor, to David. Because you did not obey the voice of the Lord and did not execute his fierce wrath on Amalek, 
Therefore, the Lord has done this thing to you this day. God took kingship away from him and gave it to his neighbor. Someone who did not even look qualified. When, when, when Saul was being anointed as king, when Saul was introduced into the scene, he was introduced like someone that was eligible to be king. He was described as this, this, that he was at least a feet taller than everyone in Israel. He was so handsome, befitting. He had the statues of a king. He looked like a king. He had the aura of a king. But God took kingship away from him and gave it to his neighbor. Someone who was ruddy. He did not even look like it. He was young. He did not even resemble someone that could be a king. If you're watching me right now, and God has given you an instruction. It is in your best interest to obey that instruction. Or maybe before this word came, you had already disobeyed. If you are listening to this word right now, if it came to you, it is the right time for you to cry out to God. You have to cry out to God and ask him for mercy. Ask the Lord for mercy. Ask him to forgive you. You are not listening to this message by chance. So many of us, we are guilty of the sin of disobedience in one way or the other. And we think it's a light. We make light of it. Whereas to God, it is very, very important. To God, it is crucial. It is so important. However, you have disobeyed God. If you're here, if this word is coming to you right now, probably God is giving you a second chance. To make your ways right. Probably God does not want to actually take it away from you and give it to your neighbor. He wants you to come to that realization. To come to the consciousness of what you did wrong. Repent. Ask him for forgiveness. He says if we come to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If you go to the Lord and ask him for forgiveness, he is faithful to forgive us. He is faithful to forgive us. I pray for you that is watching me in the name of Jesus. However, you have disobeyed God. I pray that even as you ask the Lord for mercy, I stand the, the gap for you, that God will forgive you and that God will restore that which was taken away from you by mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will forgive you and that he will restore to you what was taken away from you by mercy in Jesus' mighty name. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you.